Mark Stein back online. I logged on to Twitter this morning as I usually do just to see what's floating around, what stories to talk about etc and the first thing that came up was that Mark Stein is now back between 8 and 9 o'clock doing his show but not on GB News. He's doing it through his own website, you can watch it for free, I just clicked on the link, it came straight up and I watched the full show. It was just as good as watching it on GB News, in fact it was probably better because when he got guests on the microphones didn't echo because somebody forgot to turn the sound down and turn the sound up. He had exactly the same guests as he normally would and talked about the exact same subjects that he normally would. On top of that he also pointed out and I've checked the figures for myself that the 8 or 9 slot now on GB News which Mark Stein was forced to vacate is now being filled as you've seen by a combination of Mark Dolan, Patrick Christie's, Lawrence Fox and they're talking about Jacob Reese Mogg going there as well. It, at one stage, it was hitting 700 viewers. That's, that's how many it was getting. Mark Stein was pulling in the second or third best every single week on GB News, with Farage usually taking the number one slot. Sadly, it looks like GB News is going to bow down to Ofcom, and he's going to become just another mainstream media establishment, refusing to talk about anything even slightly controversial for fear of being called some sort of trope, which of course Neil Oliver's now being accused of when they're calling him anti-Semitic, when of course he is nothing of the sort.